Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy to have you here for a new video. We're gonna be kicking off a weekly vlog, so taking you through most everything that I do over the next week or so. And I'm really excited to get started. So if you're interested, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notifications, all the things so you can stay updated on future videos as well. I would really appreciate it. And let's get started. So it is Saturday and I'm having kind of a slow morning. It's already 90 degrees out. Um, we're gonna be experiencing a bit of a heat wave this week. Um, temperatures have been like pretty mild for May, but we're into June now and yeah, it's getting pretty hot. So I'm not going to go take a walk right now because there's like basically no cloud coverage and it's 90 degrees and I'm just don't want to go do that to myself first thing. Um, I just ate some watermelon and I think I'm going to heat up um, this Hugamon that I picked up yesterday in Santa Barbara. I've talked about this place before, but it's called Oat Bakery in Santa Barbara if you're ever in the area. Highly recommend, um, and I usually just grab an extra one that I can have the next day for breakfast. So I did that, so I think I'm gonna heat that up, uh, make an iced coffee, and maybe get to work on finishing this puzzle. I know we'll finish it at this point because it needs to get done this week because it's already been like well over, I think it's been over a week since I first started it, but I'm gonna try to get as much done of it as I can this week um and ideally finish it because it's just been sitting here taking up space on the dining room table for a while now so we've got to get that done um so i think i'm going to do that because yeah it's just too hot right now so maybe i'll take a walk later in the afternoon but it's just not in the cards for right now this morning so i'm gonna get started with breakfast now all right so here is the puzzle update got most of like all of this stuff down here done so and more of the little middle parts so that's good and just like some random little holes um and then our green chef box also just arrived so this is what's on deck for the week white bean and charred soup kidney bean meatballs intro lime sweet potato bowls and black and cauliflower bowls um this came a day late which is annoying because we didn't have it for dinner last night, but uh, we'll do one of these for dinner later tonight. Bill, would you like to share where we are? We're sitting in line, the drive through line at Raisin Cane's. And how many people do you think are in front of us right now? We're at like in a- In front of us, I don't know, probably- 40. 30 to, yeah, I was gonna say There's a full city block in front of us, or a full Burbank block, um, because Raisin Cane's just opened a couple days ago. Um, well, like five days ago on Tuesday, today's Saturday, yeah. um, in Burbank. And this is the closest one to this part of LA. Um, I've never eaten at Raising Cane's before. I'm probably gonna assume there's nothing I could even eat there. Um, right, but what are you getting? What's your order? Do you wanna share? It's just chicken fingers. Chicken fingers. Okay. Chicken fingers, but no coleslaw. You gotta no get the extra coleslaw. toast. And extra toast and fries. Yeah, oh, okay, I don't know. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're sitting in this line, and we hopefully won't go on too much longer. Yeah, we won't go in line for like 15 minutes, 10 minutes, yeah, 10 minutes, probably. 10 minutes. And we've already moved up a good amount from past the other side of this other intersection. So, and look, we're moving up right now. <gasps> wow. Um, but yeah, so we're doing that, and then we are going to um, get food for me. I think I'm gonna get a wrap from Something Vegan. It's in Toluca Lake. Every time I say that, I feel like I'm saying like, oh, I'm going to get Something Vegan, but like that's literally the name of the place. So I'm gonna do that, and then I can get Boba Guys because normally I get Boba on Fridays, and I didn't yesterday because I was in Santa Barbara for work. So I'm gonna go there because they're kind of close to each other. Um, but we'll update, it's 2.25 right now. So like I said, I think we've been in line for 10 minutes. So we'll update when the food arrives. Are you excited? You said it's been like over two years since you had it? Yeah, it's been a very long time. All right, it's 2.57 and the order has just been placed. Um, so we're approaching the end, which is exciting. 
and hopefully we'll just be in this line for another few minutes while the food gets made. Um, and then, yeah, exciting. And then we're gonna go pick up my food and boba and then head home. Okay, so we're home now from all our errands, boba, lunch, everything. And I got something in the mail. Um, this is a new pin for my Little Mermaid Disney pin collection. Um, so if you're not interested in this kind of stuff, feel free to skip ahead a minute. But um, the last video that went out before this one was my pin collection so far. And I've actually gotten a couple more since uh, I filmed that because I filmed it actually a bit ago and it's already like, you know, timing of all the things. Um, when I'm filming this video, that video hasn't even gone up yet, but it's like already scheduled and ready to go. Um, but yeah, I got something new that I bought on a Facebook group for pin traders that I'm excited about. So came nicely wrapped in a Magic Kingdom map for the 50th because it came from someone in Florida. Um, but it's actually a pin that is local to California, I guess, because it is a pin from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood, um, which is located in Hollywood. Um, and it's where the El Capitan Theater is. It's where they do like premieres and stuff for different um, like new Disney things. So I'm really excited. I'm going to take it off the little thing. And I've seen this floating around for a while. I think it was released a couple of years ago. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I just thought it was really cute. And so it's Ariel and she's sitting on like a little movie reel. And then on the back, it just says um, Disney Studios Store Hollywood. And I don't think that this was a specific edition uh, or a specific number. I'm gonna put this up on my board. Um, I'll show what that looks like because like I said, I got two other pins, but uh, yeah, I really like this and I like the outfit that she's in. It's from the Kiss the Girl scene, which is one of my favorites. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about this. And I think we're gonna go watch The Lost City. I think that's what it's called right now. Um, it's the Sandra Bullock Channing Tatum movie. It's on streaming now, so. We're gonna watch that while we eat our lunch together. All right, I just finished up making dinner. I did this Tuscan white bean and charred soup. Um, instead of making little like baguettes, I just made little uh, croutons to go on top. Grated some Parmesan and it looks very yummy. Good morning, happy Sunday. I just got home from running a couple of errands. I went and dropped off a bunch of clothing donations that have been taking up space in the apartment. So I went and did that, which is awesome. Um, and then I went to Whole Foods to just grab a couple of things. Unfortunately, their like refrigeration and freezers were down in some sections, not the produce, but like basically all of the other ones, like all the dairy um, and then like all the frozen food. So I wasn't able to get, I needed like coffee creamer and tofu. Um, so I wasn't able to get those things, but it's not like a necessity for today. So we'll survive, but I just got, uh, I got a scone for myself for breakfast and a muffin for Bill. I got uh, a hand soap, like refill, big thing. Um, I got my favorite um, Unreal little fake like peanut M&Ms that are really good. And I got um, broccoli, so that was it. So I'll just have to go at some point this week and grab those remaining things that I need. But we're doing something actually really fun in a few hours. We're going to the Mets versus Angels game. Um, Bill has been talking about this, like he knew that it was happening for a little while because he's a Mets fan. So he's been like saying like, oh, we should go to the game in Anaheim, like blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, okay, whatever, you know, whatever you want. Cause as you could probably tell yesterday, I was wearing my Phillies hat because I'm a Phillies fan. And, uh, but he's really excited. So we're gonna go to that. Um, the game starts at four. So I'm not sure what time we're gonna leave. Um, he's waking up right now. And, but I'm gonna go and take a walk now because I did not get to do it yesterday because it was so, so hot. But thankfully it's, 
quite a bit cooler today. I mean, quite a bit. It's probably like 15 degrees cooler right now than it was at this time yesterday. So I'm going to get ready to go take a walk. And then I need to do like a full shower, wash my hair, everything like that and get ready. Um, and I'm really excited because we've never been to a professional sports game together. We've been together for over five years. And I mean, over five years, we've been together for five years in one month. So, but yeah, we've never gone to a game. So I'm really excited and it should be a lot of fun. So I'm excited to take you with us. Also, I do not know how I did not lead with this this morning, but look what I finished last night. So exciting. I was like, so excited. I was like, Bill, come watch me like put the last piece in, which was like somewhere over there. And then um, I looked and I realized there was a piece missing. I think it was like one of these over here. And I was like, are you kidding me? And I started freaking out. I was literally crawling around on the floor. Uh, and then thankfully I found it, it was underneath, um, there's like a bench that's there and it was underneath there. Um, because at one point when I was doing this, like I dropped the little box, uh, half that had like all the remaining pieces in it. So I'm very happy. Here is the full look at the puzzle. Um, I can try to find this and link it. Um, I don't know. I really like puzzles. They help with just like my anxiety and just like help me get off my phone and computer in like my free time so I really enjoyed doing this I think it was like ten dollars at box lunch um Bill got it for me I actually shared that in a video because I was filming um I think uh what I eat in a week or a vlog I don't remember but I can link it so yeah um I'm gonna go head out on my walk now Plus, Mets won four to one. We got to watch a couple of home runs. So one it, scary injury, though. Yeah, someone got hurt. Someone got hurt on like the, in the uh, Mets a fan. Section. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you were completely were oblivious other highlights? to. I was not completely oblivious. I was to chatting. The home run. I was chatting with the nice man that was next to me. Yes, yeah, so he was very, very nice. nice. There was a really cute baby in our row, and then there was also a really cute little girl like right in front of us. Um. Second row was very nice also. Amazing. And we were like completely covered with shade the whole time until like, like probably the like the, the seventh game. inning and then yeah. like the sun shifted and it was like behind us, but it wasn't even bad at all. So it was really good. Perfect. Overall, good experience. Also, we got like in and out really fast. Yeah. Like parking was right near us. And it was only $10 to park. Yeah, that was Disneyland, great. you could. Yeah, take some notes. $30. <laughs> Yeah, so that was, it was great. And now we just picked up food for me at Plant Power. Doesn't even say on this bag, but um, they opened a location in Hollywood, which is very nice um, because the only one close to us was in Long Beach for a really long time. And so I would go there, but 
I'm really glad they have one now in Hollywood. So actually, I think this is only the second time that I've come here since they've opened. Yeah. I feel like it's one of those things where you're like, oh, you'll think you it'll come a lot more, but like, and then you don't. It's closer than Long Beach, but it's still like not in our area because we don't live in Hollywood. But I got a peanut butter milkshake, and then I got chicken nuggets and iconic fries, which are like their animal fries. Um, so gonna eat this. We're gonna go pick up Bill's burger at Hi Ho, um, which is in Studio City, and he really likes it. And oh, also. Um, tell them your food, what you ate during the game. Oh, I had garlic fries, which were mid, honestly. Mid. Then I had some dipping Dots that were A+. Plus. Some cookies and cream dipping Dots. And he, you got them in like a... Little angel's little, hat. Little yes. angel's hat. This is a compostable straw. So wow. I love to see it. Uh, also, more places should take note of doing things like this, where there are compostable straws instead of paper ones. I'm sure that these are more expensive than the paper straws, but they don't fall apart. So... We love the compostable straw. Um, I had vegan buffalo mac and cheese from a place called Crafty Mac. I was worried because I was looking online and like I could not find a lot of information about the food. Like I kept just seeing the same kind of stuff. And when I would click on things, I like wouldn't see a lot of info. So I was getting confused. Um, but then we ended up going up to like the second we were on the first level and we ended up going up to the second and seeing um this mac and cheese walked place. around the stadium yeah. yeah when we walked around the stadium and we saw on the second floor this place called crafty mac so if you're vegan and you ever go to angel stadium you can head up there and get some vegan mac and cheese it was all right it could have been better but like i was just glad i had a food option good morning everyone it is monday morning it's about nine o'clock right now and we're getting started with the day. Um, I'm feeling a little bit tired from yesterday. Thankfully, it's not gonna be super hot out today, so I can delay going on my walk for another little bit, and it's not gonna be like 90 degrees when I go, which is always nice because you never know in the summer, um, but it's gonna be really hot pretty much this whole week. Um, but I'm just getting started. I'm gonna write out all of my things that I have to get done today on a piece of paper because I feel like it helps me de-stress a little bit just like even though I have it written on my notes app on my like phone and computer just like writing it out helps me kind of realize there's not so much even if there is if that makes sense um yeah so I'm doing that and I'm working on a content calendar for one of my clients I'm gonna try to get this done so I can at least like check something off the list before I go and head out on my walk um because then I know I'll also feel better if I like have something completely done so that's the plan right now. Um, yeah, just getting work done. I have the windows open. I like lit a candle. I just did like a little bit of cleaning. So I feel good. Um, that's always a good way I feel like for me to start the week. So yeah, let's get going with the day. I didn't run through her corn, sorry. <laughs> In my building's laundry room, so I don't want to talk too loud, but I'm using these, um, the Sweet Sheets Laundry Essential Oil Drops on um, our dryer balls. I just picked this up like two weeks ago. We were without it for a really long time, and I was just using these like by themselves, which is fine, but this just makes everything smell so much better. It is kind of pricey, but you don't need a lot. And yeah, and I also don't dry all of our clothes. I put, you know, I hang dry a lot of our stuff. This is just for really for like towels and socks and such. But I'll link this down below because it smells really, really good. So if you use dryer balls, I'd highly recommend checking this out. All right, laundry is officially done. It really just takes a lot out of me to get everything done because I don't do it super frequently because we have to pay for it because it's not in our unit, it's in our building. And yeah, but it's finally done. Got everything hung up to dry, all the dry stuff put away. I just made a coffee, um, an iced Four Sigmatic, my favorite. Um, 
because Jenny's coming over in a little bit. It's already six o'clock, so probably not a good idea that I'm having caffeine right now, but at the same time, I'm really tired and I need to stay awake, obviously, to have someone over. So, um, and I'm trying to finish up some work stuff and computer stuff before that. Um, so I don't have to be doing anything while she's here. And that's what's going on for now. Um, I'm not sure where, where we are going to order dinner from. We haven't decided yet. So I should probably text her and figure that out. And like I said, just try to get a little bit of stuff done um to try to end off monday on a semi-productive note i did not get everything done on my to-do list um because honestly i was just so tired this morning that like when i had my quiet alone time before bill got up for the day i was just not being as productive as i should have but i'm not gonna let it ruin my mood it's gonna be fine i'm gonna just relax and try to get a little bit of stuff done and call it the end of the work day. Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday and I've just been getting started with my day for the past like hour or so. It's a little after eight o'clock right now. I've been up since like seven. Um, I've really been struggling with this pain in my back like between my shoulder blades on like the upper part of my shoulder blades. Um, mostly on the right side but it's like really centered on my back and it's not like I don't know how to describe what the pain feels like, but it's been like this for a couple days now and it's really bad in the mornings, honestly, because of however I'm sleeping and then um, into the day it will kind of get better just from like moving around and like trying to stretch it and stuff. Um, but then I wake up in the morning and it's like painful all over again. So I feel like that's also why I've been feeling like kind of tired yesterday and today because like I just wake up and I'm in pain like pretty much immediately. Um, like right now it hurts holding my phone up with my arm extended. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but I'm trying to get this article finished. I want to get it done within the next few hours of the morning. Um, but I think I'm going to take a walk kind of soon while there are still some clouds in the sky. So it's not like direct sunlight on me while I'm walking, just so I'm not like totally sweating. <laughs> Um, and I think I'm going to run to Whole Foods at some point later today because we, I need to grab those like a couple of things that I mentioned that I wasn't able to get, um, when I went the other day because the refrigeration system thing was down. So yeah, I'm going to try to finish up this article. It's just hard because like sitting down, I like, I have the tendency to hunch when I'm sitting and then I'm really trying not to, I'm really trying to like sit up straight, but honestly that like hurts more. So I'm trying to find like the right comfortable balance and it's been a little difficult this morning. So I'm just taking it slow for now, trying to get this stuff done. Um, and I will check in at some point soon. I just got home from Whole Foods and I got my favorite smoky TCLA sandwich. It's tempeh avocado, um, garlic aioli, tomato, lettuce, I think that's it. And I also got this plus, you know, some random groceries, but I'm going to do a little taste test for TikTok. So I will link the video down below and also just insert it on the screen right here. If you're interested in checking it out, because I really like to do, um, taste test of different vegan food items on there. So you can go and check that out, but I'm excited to try this. We'll see how it tastes. Bill just had the idea that we should do a taste test on the vlog. Thanks, honey, for the content suggestion. You're um, we're gonna be taste testing these simulate uh simulate. simulate when I get the box. Simulate chicken tenders. Um it's the company that makes nugs, which we haven't had in a really long time. But wow. Bill was targeted and victim to a targeted ad online very good deal uh and it was like twenty dollars for two boxes of that size which is a good deal um so he just made some chicken tenders for lunch and made me one so we're gonna try oh it's really hot okay cheers cheers i mean like you know they are not as like organic shaped as like a tender is I mean, 
it's kind of thick. Yeah, it is a little thicker than I would like. But yeah, like I nice. feel like tenders are thinner than nuggets, you know? Yeah, I mean, the taste is good. Um, yeah, would recommend. Thumbs up. And I think you can usually get, I don't know about the tenders, but you can get nugs like in some Target. grocery stores. Uh, Target, apparently. Um, still haven't tried my baby bell, so I need to do that, but I was gonna shower first. I just have been doing work after eating my lunch. That's all for now. Bye. Hello everyone. It's now Wednesday and I kind of stopped vlogging yesterday afternoon. Um, I wasn't feeling great and basically we didn't really miss much. Um, I just made dinner. I worked outside for a while and basically had an early night. So that was the excitement from last night. Basically nothing. And then this morning I woke up and I took a nice long walk um, on the early side and I got started on work stuff and I took a shower, got ready, I watched Obi-Wan and Miss Marvel with Bill and now I'm at the mall, I'm at Century City um, and I am meeting a friend in a couple of hours for dinner and we're actually coming here for dinner but I'm gonna go and meet her at her office before because she wants to show it to me. So I'm excited about that. I'm meeting my old coworker, Christine. Um, so I'm excited to see her, but I wanted to get some work done out of the house today. So I'm going to pop into a couple of stores, just like look around for a little bit, and then I'm going to sit and get some work done. I think I'll probably get like a smoothie or an acai bowl or something. Um, probably from Sun Life because it's already 1.20 and I'm meeting her at her office at 5 which is nearby and then we're going to come back here for dinner. So that's the plan. Um, it's been a good morning so far. I just I'm really irritated that I'm still having this pain on like my shoulder on my upper shoulder on my back. It's really irritating and like I just don't know what to do at this point um, except just like deal with it and push through which you know I have stuff that I have to get done and I that includes bebopping around so I'm gonna go into the mall I'm trying to think of the last time I was here I think it might have been for our anniversary mine and Bill's um which was in May um which was only last month uh we went to Din Tai Fung for the first time and it was really good um and yeah I can't think I don't think I've been here since then but yeah I'm just gonna go pop into a couple stores so I'll show you if I get anything um and just try to get some clips of you know me getting my work done good morning everyone happy Thursday I'm getting all these clean clothes put away that have been finishing up drying on these drying racks in here and I'm gonna go take a walk when I'm done. Um, I had a really great time last night with my friend Christine. Um, I didn't get any clips because we basically just talked for like five hours. Um, I went to her office, which was really nice. And then we went to dinner at Tokaya um, at the Century City Mall. And then I dropped off at home and we were just chit-chatting about all the things. So it was really great to catch up with her. Um, I've got some work to do today and I'm just debating whether or not I'm going to stay home and get stuff done or if I'm going to head out and work um, at a coffee shop or maybe Air One. Um, I'm just going to see how I feel after I take my walk um, once I get all these clothes put away. So that's the plan right now for the day. Uh, nothing exciting going on honestly um i feel like the past couple days have been kind of boring because i haven't really been recording as much because not much has been going on so that's what's going on i guess right now Good morning everyone it is friday and i feel like i've been in the cycle of like starting to vlog in the mornings into early afternoon the past couple days and then just kind of like dropping it by the evening because i'm tired and i've just been 
having a lot of work to do and like not doing anything exciting. So I apologize for that, but I'm actually getting started with editing this video because um, I want to get it up on Sunday. Like I said, today's Friday, going to stop vlogging tomorrow. So I'm going to get a head start today and then I'll just drop in um, clips from tomorrow on Sunday morning and it'll be ready to go. But yeah, I'm going to get started with this for an hour or so. It's eight o'clock right now and I need to leave at nine for my class of training mate. So yeah, I'm going to get to work on this for the next hour or so. Hopefully I can make some good headway and that's what's going on. All right, training mate is done. <laughs> I'm out of breath. It was a hard one. It was a butt day. And I am going to head over to Alfred right now to get a breakfast sandwich. Um, that's the plan. So I was just sitting at Alfred for the past little bit, but I'm actually going to go head over to Boba Guys and get my Friday boba early. I'm not going to drink it now. I'll probably wait until after I like shower and stuff. Um, but I'm going to go head over there and pick it up now just because I'm already out and I don't feel like going home to then just go back out like a couple hours later. So I'm just going to go get that. And then I'll probably just like take the ice out of it. So hopefully it won't melt. Uh, we'll see. I've never like gotten it and then not drink it right away. So hopefully it survives waiting a little bit. Um, but I'm going to go drive over there now. Just got some new writing assignments sent over to me. So I've just been so busy already. And now I'm just going to be even more busy basically for the rest of the month. Is someone wheeling a pig around like a baby right over there oh my god oh, of course this escalator's down we're going to the movies wow and there was a giant pig in a tutu crazy <laughs> I don't like it. Can they put something on the screen, please? <laughs> so they come and deliver your food to your seat if you tell them. It's interesting. Here we are. So we're still in the little intro from pre-previews, but Bill just had this food delivered to the seat. We've got pretzels, what, chicken? Pretzels, chicken, mozzarella, onions. Hello everyone, happy Saturday. It is currently 10.30 a.m. and I'm about to go head out and take a morning walk. Um, I'm in the car because I'm gonna go drive to a different area to take my walk, but I've got a nice coffee, I've got a granola bar, and I'm excited to go head out and get my day started. I actually already started my day because I've been editing um, the past like 30 minutes of this video that hopefully you've watched all the way through. Um, but I've spent the morning doing that and just getting it like pretty much ready to go. So then tomorrow I can just drop in clips from today and get it ready to go up. So that's exciting. Um, but I wanted to vlog today because we're going to Synespia tonight with Jenny, who's been in past videos and her boyfriend. So I'm excited about that. Um, it's our first, did I just say it's our first one of the season. Um, I think she has gone to one already, but it's Bill and I's first one of the 2022 summer season. So that's exciting. And I think I'm going to go and grab some like cookies and snacks, um, like cookie dough that I can make and cookies and then some other ch like chips and stuff um, to bring with us today. guys it's 5 30 now and i'm about to put on some makeup because we're heading out to go to Snespia. um we're gonna go pick up sandwiches first but i just got everything packed i just baked some cookies and i took a bath showered washed my hair dried my hair did all the things and now we're getting ready to go i'm excited and i'm hungry so i'm excited to eat my sandwich and i'll see you when we get there
Hello guys, it is the next day now and I'm just popping in to end off this video really quick because I didn't record a finishing clip last night but really enjoyed the movie and had a good time last night. Um, Bill took a little tumble when we were leaving and he kind of hurt his ankle so dealing with that now but otherwise we had a great time and I am just making some breakfast and getting this video ready to go up in a little bit so I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also turn on the notifications so you don't miss another upload from me. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video again really soon. Bye.